pick Dietz up, getting it in quickly. This is Powell, we know he's a penetrating kick. He goes for his captain. It might still get there. Neats, Mock. The cavalry arrived pretty quickly. Good support around Uze. The danger man this afternoon along with Neats. What a loader! And he's paid it. Jeez, he had the perfect fly in, Hunter. You called it. He had his eyes on the ball. He came from the back and the side. And I just didn't know whether he held it long enough. It's been paid. Good kick by Uze, Steve, right to the, into the middle of the goal square, and we'll see where Woden come from the side, and that is a great mark. Well, as a forward, that's where you want it. An unexpected kick to the top of the square. As a defender, you hate it, but as a forward, it's predictable. Well, he's kicked 11 goals, 8 for the year, but he's kicked a goal in each of the last four matches for the Demons. So he's finding the middle at the moment, and the Demons have made the perfect start. Good interception from Uze. Just so important that they watch Makepeace. He does set the demons uh, oh, right. the rules up. And now he's within range here, Sam. Well, he's, he could kick a drop punt that far, but uh, a torpedo with a shiny, slippery ball is a hard ask. He's gone the percentage to the top of the square. Goes for Petri. Yes! Big Drew Petri. Kicked two goals too last week, Drew Petri. They had plenty of time to uh, sauce to get back. And get that ball away. So the kangaroos answer. Terrific start. A lot of opportunity, but doesn't tend to put it away. Harvey kicking into Blakey. A little bit of room moves off, and out of side we go. Sid Simpson couldn't mark a one, and Robinson gives a contest. Archer mopping up and hands off to Robbins. They share it around Simpson. In support, Grant. Dummies one and move, moves in. 15 from goal, it's a mark. Block yeah. it beautifully. It's be very hard to stop. Well, if Big Sav kicks this one, it will be his 50th goal for the year. Again, a long kick to a predictable spot. Well, directly in front, not a problem. 25 from goal, and it isn't. Sav Rucker has his first, Ruse has his second. Yeah, he's hurt all right. So, off hard back. Great kick from Ward. And the Demons with a chance. Armstrong looks up. A little bit of time. Meets the sit. No, dropped it on the way down. Has a chance now. Arms are clear. Over the head of Powell. Number still with the Demons. Green. Back to Bruce. Positioning spot on. He did it beautifully. The space was his. And he found Armstrong. Well, a little bit of trouble can hold up. He's staying out there at the moment. Well, the first thing Lamb has to do is run him up the ground. Armstrong with a chance. That is a beautiful kick. That's what the Demons are looking for. So the Ruse in attack. White, Ruse, Brad Green, Colbert, Burton, Lamb, they're all involved. Ward, make peace. Lee Colbert. Found a path, but it wasn't a path to goal. Although Petrie, he's got it. yeah, he's got it through Petrie, right on the line. Gee, I don't think Wheatley worked hard enough to put a fist on that. He was, looked like he was trying to body him. He's found yeah. someone. Guess who? On his own. How could you leave Brent Harvey alone and unattended? Loose on him there. I think Wheatley was expecting the ball to go on the full. Yeah, and you just can't expect that, can yeah. you? You've just got to get there and put a fist on it. So Brent Harvey, who so far this year has kicked 29 goals, 12. It's a fairly potent forward line when they're all up and about. And Brent Harvey is up and about for the Ruse. Harvey's down there, he's lurking. Travis Johnson, they need to run the Demons at the moment. Just bombing in the air, Powell with a little bit of room, has to move. He turns around and just bombs in long, so they haven't two kicks and are inside 50. Neats and Martin, your back needs, takes it and over the top. Chance of Vardy goes through in between two and finishes. Well, you talk direct football about the Ruse. Very good from the Demons, two kicks inside 50. Neats with the contest. 
Fardy with a finish. And it's what they failed to do in the first quarter, and they also struggled to do it, was get the ball in nice and quickly to their forwards. The Kangaroos have done it well to slow it up, but uh, on this occasion they got, they got the ball in nice and quick, which gave their forwards every chance. So the Roos have got space ahead here of Corey Jones. If he can get it moving quickly to somebody leading into space, they can run. Still a lot of players behind him, so he moves it on. Sab in the middle at the back. Petri, he came from the side, created the contest. Morrell has got make peace to his leg, and the goal's in front. Didn't miss that time, JP. Forward half, not allowing Melbourne to run the ball out. Two players matched up together, Steve. Adam Simpson has moved on to Uze. Uze's had nine kicks, no handballs, but they've been very effective. Effective kick into Powell. Wheatley had to adjust his direction. Brown loves to run into the space. Neitz has got away this time. He's finally got clear of Mickey Martin. I think he was wanting Ben Robbins to run back onto that as well. Or any support. He wasn't too, too happy with that big, big <laughs> mick. So he needs to punish him here, David Neitz. Important kick for the confidence of the Demons, and that helps. Because they played Essendon. Jeez, I'd like to see evidence of that. Robbins does well through the traffic, and inside 50, Bizzle with courage. Rocker there for the contest. Wheatley will run back onto it. Rocker back onto him. Someone's down for Melbourne. So well done, Sir Rocker. Did well. Didn't get to the line. The Demons through Bruce will make sure it did. And Bizzle's a play that's down. Well, he showed a lot of courage. Got crunched, didn't he, going back in that marking contest. Stood his ground. They came from everywhere, the two big men, Petri and Sav. So the ball back into play. Here's Harding, darting around. Couldn't finish it, but it could still be a ruse. Mark Makepeace, courageous grab. But he can convert here. And once again, the Roos would just be a goal and a half ahead, which has been the margin for most of the day so far. It was a courageous mark, but also to his teammates who just held their opponents off. He knew he was going to be protected by his teammates. We just see here on screen those, North, those kangaroo players gave him every chance to run with confidence. So Troy Makepeace, who we've seen follow Steve Power for much of the day so far, and he's found himself much further down the ground than usual. Russell Robertson off Hutto, only had three touches, not very happy at all. Make pieces kicked three goals, five for the year. And he gave the goal up by some work, but he's got the result he was after. Leon Shelley will have a big role to play now. Through the middle, Ward clearing the path for Woe One. David King, hammer and slog as you would expect. Demons win out though. Ward got it through the base. Watch out, just got the kick away into the forward pocket. Uze loves these. He loves these. Out of Uze off the left. And the Demons hit back. Well, James McDowell was at the seat. He just got his kick away in time. Uze kicks the goal, 5-2 Melbourne, 5-7 the Kangaroos. And what a goal it was. Neach really should have taken the mark, but Uze off one step, a left foot goal, that is all class. Yes, and Adam Simpson would be disappointed with that. He's had the uh, close few set shots. And one thing that has been lacking in this game is it has been goal for goal. Just teams being able to really put some scoreboard pressure on and double up. Why Woden around the body, Martin and Neach. It wasn't Neitz, it was Ward who does beautifully cold it now. Oh, he's oh. in trouble. It's a goal. He Great. Went to it is, it's a goal. Put him up. No, he hasn't. What's going it's on? It's a goal. And, well, they talked the middle of Demons and Lee Colbert. Great pressure coming from Melbourne. The loose ball, great finishes. I don't think they talked him into it, they just couldn't talk him out of it. <laughs> Steve, should Mick have hit this through for a rush behind? There's no problem. Probably he wasn't in the position, but maybe he was fronting the boundary line, but certainly the pressure applied by the Demons was exceptional. Something they had failed to do in the first quarter, but on that occasion, on two, maybe three occasions, they tried to apply a tackle. It's quite comical, isn't it? Oh, really? Who would you be listening to? 
the, the umpire's saying, you make the decision. Kingy's saying it was touched. Greeny's saying, put him up. <laughs> I don't think there's any doubt it was always going to be the fingers up. No. Bang. Goal. And now, the Demons are in front. Yeah, the middle of the Demons, that's where they have to take hold of it with Jeff White. Got Sinclair, who made a bit of a meal of it, but was in the space. He's got nothing further ahead. He's gone for Petrie versus Wheatley. One hand, it was all Petri could offer. Woe Woden, who's suddenly come into the game. This is Bizzle. Meets waits well to make his lead. He's still in the goal square as Johnston looks for him. Zeroes in on the captain and hits him on the chest. They moved it beautifully. Going. They've had 54 handballs to this stage. Kangaroos 45. We know the Kangaroos don't run and carry that much. They like to kick it long. But uh, confidence is coming. Important kick this because if they can get a couple of quick goals in a row, the confidence will soar. The tide has turned at the MCG. He looked like he was gone with that shoulder. So King running back towards the Demon goal, hands off to the running Martin. So Mick will take a bounce, he'll take his second oh, bounce, and he's in big trouble. Oh, Nates has picked him up. They allowed to go on. Archer King. dribbles King. it out. Not only in Charlie Nates down there after having chased long by Wheatley. They'll jump in here. Uze! Keep it low. It's a goal. Uze has number two. Feeling. He had possession, took two bounces, lost it, and the Demons have ended up scoring. I reckon when he took the first bounce, Stokes, we all thought, come on, Mick, that's <laughs> not your go. Just kick the big helicopter punt will do, and he's gone for the second bounce, mucked it up, <laughs> rebounded. You make a mistake in finals footy, you pay the ultimate penalty, and poor old Mickey, bad luck. Yeah, well, wasn't that a free kick not to get the free? Oh, you're in the f president of the Fullback Association. <laughs> yeah. Who are you related to? So well, Woden out of the middle. Archer, Harvey. The team is starting to win all the contests now. Green didn't look just going in there quickly to David Meads. Johnston to land a hand. If he can get clear, there's demons everywhere. Varney, it's your turn. And he made sure of it. He made sure of it. That's his second. They are on the rampage, the demons at the MCG. Seven goals in the corner. And it's not over yet. But back to a two-on-two. Two. Petri again provided the contest. He's done pretty well at doing that. Someone's he, in trouble for Melbourne. Yeah, someone's down. But meantime, the King is away. Striding forward, those long strides, bouncing up. They need some inspiration. David King gets it into Byron Pickett. Now's your time, Byron. Got it. He's got it. Well, that was the plan. Yeah, and well done, Daniel Ward, to go back into heavy traffic. Well, Pickett kicks the goal. The Ruse respond. The play, getting back in front of Byron Pickett. Well, that's what they need. Uh, there must be someone free for the Ruse who has to try and drag those two out. It's a good mark. Simpson did beautifully. He's terrific in the air. Into the middle. Oh, over the head of Grant. Danger now. They will run, and they are in big trouble. Travis Johnson, normally a good user. Meets will jump. Well done, Mickey. Bodied him. Loose ball. Meets. Open goal for the Demons. Peter Barty, as easy as you like. Goal number three. Well, they were always in trouble. They got it in the middle. Bad possession, and Johnson stole it. And I think T needed to stand firm here. You see, he's been protected by Mick Martin, and the kid goes to ground too easily, drops the mark, goes to ground, can't recover. Dennis Pagan would be most disappointed with that. You just can't lose your feet. Twenty-two points, Andrew Demetrio. Having a, well, it's probably been a big weekend for him, but uh, he'll be telling us later on what's going to happen next weekend. It all depends on this result. Brent Harvey's under pressure here. Demons have got numbers if they can get it clear. Good work from McDonald. Uze streaming towards goal. On the brink of something special, the Demons. Peter Barney to put space between the Demons and the Rose. And he's gone all the way and got one to go on with, but he's kicked the goal. 
think he won't be able to get the contest. Good work from Petri, kept it alive. Once again, Melbourne have got numbers all around the contest. And the umpire kept it going. Oh, great Robbins. Robbins, Spider Burton. The team needs you to kick a goal. It just was offline. Free kick. Free kick coming back. It'll be a kangaroo free. Robbins. Is he within range? He's not a huge kick, is he? No. Uh, this will test him. It's a great smother by Ward. So with only seconds remaining, and the Kangaroos down by 29, Ben Robbins, he's come in, he's played every game this season. He was recruited from the Lions, missed out on their grand final team last year. Will he make the distance? He's been one of Dennis Pagan's favourites. Test him, Dokes. He's only kicked two goals for the season. What a moment for Ben Robbins. Is he up to it? Is he up to it? Oh, yes, he is. And they're not dead yet, the Kangaroos. That gives them something to work with as we go into the last quarter. Pretty crucial goal, that one after the siren by Robbins. Well, he won't take a backward step. So the ball bounce. White and Porter. Porter gives a contest. Brown into the middle, Jess Sinclair eyes on the ball, Uze nearly took it in the end as he was falling, Bruce off the ground, Walsh will take it, protected by his teammates, a little bit of time, what will he do, use it, oh too high in the end, oh, Gray's well, got well. it, I thought he set it up too high, and Colbert since David Schwartz retired, this young fella's gone up a notch, Dokes, yeah, more responsibility, he's a beautiful kick Rob, he's a goal kicker, very hard to come by, from around 40, that is beautiful, and that's what Neil Denner and the boys are looking for. Back to Brown, dribbles it out green, long way from home. He's done that a lot this afternoon looking for the ball, or certainly trying to lose defenders in the traffic on the way back. Colbert and the Roos have it. Well, it's gone to Pickett, he had to go, he did. Here's Byron Pickett gliding towards goal. It's all on your shoulders, Byron. You've got to get it off. Harding, surely this time he'll kick a goal, and surely he does. And the Roos keep fighting. So Bissell saving the Dews, and they're a chance to score now because they have players. They have the head, though. The Roos have got back to man up reasonably well. Cochran now with the job on Uze, he won't give him much space. Neats is lurking again, looming in the square. Peter Barney has had a great day, Neats! Off hands. Free kick. Oh, it's a well kick free. Is it oh. against Blakey? Oh. Push. Oh, he signaled to push the umpire. You are kidding. You have got to be kidding. Well, that could be the Roos season. And that could be there too. What a tackle from Bizzle Harvey. Just couldn't get it on. Let's have a look at this one. Oh, Farney on Blakey. That is incredible. <laughs> that is incredible, isn't it? Well, they do do it hard back. Well, <laughs> unless there was something that we didn't see there. Barney's kicked the goal. Big Jolly in the ruck, they've made the change, Whitehoff. So Jolly to Johnson, that is copy book, at goal, that is straight, and that is a goal, and that is a ball game. Brilliant football from the Dews out in the middle, set up by Jolly, and Travis Johnson said, I don't need anyone. That is a ball game. Have a look at the tap. He's hit that four metres into the path of the running Johnson. That was all pre-planned. Open centre-half forward area to run into. And he finishes off. Andy to have a quality player like Jolly sitting on the bench. A young start, but a ruckman that has plenty of potential. Oh, he's been good, Stephen. I think all day, whenever White's come off, the Demons have lost nothing. So the Demons with one step into next week and a semi-final clash with Adelaide. Unless the Kangaroos can come again, 32 points, an enormous hurdle to overcome. But they're trying. Harding, he needed short hands. He didn't have them. He's got help, though. Archer's been pushed forward. Harding around the corner, kicked one a minute ago, and he's kicked his second. Lee Harding trying hard. Back 
get to 26 points and still kneel. He's not satisfied. Well, it's a good answer, really. They need to answer quickly. Time running out. Hardy, exceptionally quick. Archer breaks a tackle, as we see him do so often. But the kick there by Hardy was a beauty. Back inside 50 for the Russo, trying to take Uzo out of Uzo out of the play. Sinclair to bomb in long into the middle of the ground. Jolly will jump in front. Oh, well done, Porter. Stolen in. They have to move it quickly. Just get a quick he went to, to Archer. Go. And Cochran with a chance now. No one home inside 50. He has to go alone. Distance. No one unguarded goal square. And it's a goal. So the Roos come back. Well, they need a goal, and they need it soon, the Roos. They're back to within 21, 21 and a half minutes last quarter. Last chance for the Roos, and the season is gone. Uze, standing start, Cochran can go to Archer. He needs to find someone, keeps it low. Bump ball, King, too oh, high, hands. no. Kick it to go at goal, and the Roos are a champ. It is back to within 15. Well, they certainly have a fighting spirit, Rob. I reckon that this next set of square bounce is crucial for the Kangaroos. Yeah, yeah. They get another one. Puts real pressure on the Demons. Looked like the Demons had it eight, nine minutes ago. Not now. Spider Burton back in the row. Minutes into this final quarter, the Demons have brought Jeff White on. Jolly off. It's 15 points the margin. Important contest. Mickey Martin got it away, but Uze, the danger man. He's so menacing around goal, not that time. High kick in from McDonald. Robertson! He's finally come good. He's come good at the right time. On this man who's got the footy. Well, the task, it seems simple enough. 55 metres out, directly in front. Russell Robertson. He's done it. He's done it. And so have the Demons. You would think that would be enough. You never know with the Kangaroos. Be able to execute properly. Bizzle again misdirected. Wheatley, no left foot on that right. Into the air. Melbourne pickets there and left the ball behind. Robertson starting to get a couple of touches, so his confidence is up. Brown will run with it. Players forward of the ball. Russell Robertson has done beautifully. He will move in long. Vardy with the sit. Needs it's a goal. Russell Robertson, goal number two in his last quarter. Well, he's come from nowhere after having three quiet quarters. And the Demons now have it sewn up. I think the beauty of the Demons, Rob, when they get the ball, they run with the ball half. They yeah. don't try and run with the ball half cocked, half speed. They really attack the opposition defence. I think it's been sensational. Barty coming off, by the way. That was the cheers you heard. Barty five goals and been fantastic. Lee and Shelley on. They were against the odds right through. Blokes like Stevens, Archer, Blakey, their senior players have held up particularly well, and they've blooded some youngsters, which has been good. Chance now for the Demons. Godfrey running forward of the ball was Cameron Bruce. He needs a goal, and he kicks the goal. Just to finish off proceedings. Big last quarter from the Demons. Congratulations going on there. They know the game is won. Neil Danaher can start thinking about next week, whereas the Kangaroos have got to think about next year. Bruce Godfrey. Bit of showtime now, perhaps. Needs Robertson. He might end up with three. Yeah, and good protective for the time. The next month or two will tell whether they do go on. Certainly their careers, if they choose not to go on, it, have been outstanding and real, really two champions of the game. Russell Robertson for three for the day. It comes back, and he's got it. And then I was in footy fickle. The Melbourne fans, 
seven goals to the Demons in this last quarter. He's been a super player out of Muzo. He not only get, racks up getting possessions and setting him up because he's a terrific user, he kicks goals. So he does the job of two players. Yeah, they haven't been able to find anyone to stop him, the Kangaroos. He had 33 possessions when they met last time. It's all over. It's all over for the Kangaroos, that is. Melbourne match on the next week. They'll play Adelaide. 18-14-122, defeating the Kangaroos, 11-18-84. They tried their guts out today, the Kangaroos, but Melbourne had the answers in the end. Plenty to celebrate for Neil Danaher. Plenty to look forward to for David Peets. He didn't have his greatest day today, but Neil Danaher will be well satisfied. He's beaten the team that is so very difficult to kill off. He's opposite number Dennis Pagan. We don't know about him and his future. But what a great effort by Melbourne today.